Good morning to you. Uh, I've come to Angao. This is the Chiang Mai University uh, lake uh, reservoir and uh, in the front of the faculty of uh, uh, home economics. Uh, I dearly remember coming here 16, 17 years ago and picking up uh, our niece from the faculty here and uh, now there's a coffee shop. We're going to walk around the lake, uh, the reservoir here and burn off the breakfast we've just had. We've come out today with uh, Kumi and uh, Di and I and Kumi are walking around the lake on a Sunday morning. It's lovely. It's really nice. Um, as you can see the air is a little bit uh, hazy and the air to breathe is very pleasant. There's no smoke to smell. I feel as if the air is quite healthy. Do you know there's something really quite relaxing about walking near to water and in the shade of these trees here it is a very nice morning's walk. Um, we're not exercising. Uh, I mean, for goodness sake, I do three and a half, four kilometers on the treadmill every evening. Don't have to exercise uh, to burn off the breakfast, really. But uh, we thought we'd just come out for a nice morning walk. It's a lovely walk along here. Uh, there's people doing their exercises and there's a lot of people having their photograph taken. Uh, it's the uh, graduation photographs that uh, are so popular here and in a setting on the in the grounds of the university set against the backdrop of this water or the lovely trees that are around here it's a, a really nice uh, photographic photogenic place don't know whether you're able to catch that in the video but uh, the bird the brown winged bird that you saw there stood on a branch that when it took off it had a lot of white about it. Uh, that's a Chinese pond here and we get a lot of them here in Chiang Mai. Uh, in the paddies you get a lot of uh, pond heron, uh, Chinese pond heron and also obviously around water. Uh, it's quite spectacular during the mating season uh, that's coming in now how their colours change and the the male has a much more vibrant brown and almost a, I want to call it rufous, and uh, there's a little bit of tinge of purple in there as well, I think. But uh, the female is just a, a drab brown. The sound you can hear in the background hopefully. <laughs> Squirrels. Squirrels having a chatter to each other. There's a couple of them up there. Here in uh, Chiang Mai we see three or four different types of squirrel. It's not just your regular grey or your red squirrels that many Europeans uh, are familiar with. There's um, quite a variety. And they're quite beautiful to look at. Over here at the back of the university area is the entrance to the zoo. So Chiang Mai Zoo starts in here and goes up way back around there. So right now we're right at the back of the university in Chiang Mai. Oh, I'm letting the recording capture this noise. There is a bird here and a bird over there called a lineated barbet. Sod's law. This one is going to shut up whilst I've come here to record him. You can see the little little bird over there by that tree. Hard to see too much detail unless I really squeeze in. And he just sat there waiting for the bugs to come along. And he's a flycatcher and he will just make a little twitter noise tweet twit 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 like a zzz noise when he's contacting other birds so that that um, 
squeaky toy sound there. That's a tailor bird. And they're always heard in the background. You can hear them in many places and you don't see them. They are one of the smallest birds here. What a fantastic morning. Gorgeous. And the cicadas, the bugs are starting up their, their calls here. Lovely. And there's another barbet over here. This is a coppersmith barbet. That doop, doop. That's two types of barbet we've heard this morning. Oh, that's lovely. I'm so pleased we come out here. It's very quiet and peaceful, allowing us to hear the birds, but also it has a lovely air to it. It's got a, a refreshing feel. It's a nice winter's morning in Chiang Mai. And over there on the twigs in the middle there, I think they're barn swallows. I haven't got my binoculars with me, or posh name, field glasses. Um, I think they're I think they're called barn swallows. Yeah, there's several of them there. You can hear them more than you can see them. Can you see them on the blooms? They're dipping in and out of the flowers. They're Oliveback olive oh, Sunbird. He's got a yellow, yellow, yellow tummy, and he's got a yellow tummy and a, and a, uh, a purple front, and the back is olive colour. So, it, and it's got a little spiky beak. And in Thailand, we don't have hummingbirds, but many people think that these are hummingbirds. But they're actual fact uh, much bigger than the hummingbird. Mm. Chiang Mai University campus, we're actually at the top here where this little red marker is. And uh, Ang Gao Reservoir, we're walking around, is at the top there. So you can see in, uh, in context of the overall campus, it's quite small. And you've got 19 different sites labelled here with uh, another I'd say 15 over the far side in orange so you can see it's, it's a hell of a size of campus amazing thanks for joining us here at Angao Reservoir at Chiang Mai University it's been a real treat for us to have a nice walk around in the morning. We're now going to have a cup of coffee at the uh, lovely coffee shop here uh, by the side of Angao and enjoy the, the ambience of the water and the, the trees that are here, the sounds from the, the birds. I've actually heard a, yeah, a, a barred owlet, an Asian barred owlet just over here, just uh, making a little trill. And uh, I, anyway, uh, enough about the birds. Uh, I'll leave you with uh, a lovely scene here that I've seen this morning. Um, delightful. I am absolutely over the moon to be in amongst all of this really relaxing and enjoyable environment. And if you're in Chiang Mai, try it out yourself. I welcome anybody to come here in the morning and enjoy the fresh air that's here. Take care now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.